Let's go to the other issue there, the National Cabinet, of course, PM meeting with the Premiers. The issue on the table was the NDIS. I get a bit cranky when they keep calling it as NDIS reform, Caleb. There was no <laughs> reform. Nothing changes about eligibility. There's no great emphasis on cutting out the rorts. It was just more money, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul. The mm. poor old taxpayer will be responsible for these GST top-up payments. Uh, the states are cost-shifting. That's why the NDIS is growing as it is. And we know within a decade, it will be close to outstripping what we spend on defence. So it's a bit of a pee and thimble trick today. Yeah, well, I mean, if this is reform, then I'll eat my hat. I mean, they're more just moving the form from one side of the page to the other, aren't they? Because you're not talking about changing the system. I mean, they, the federal government acknowledges that the NDIS has ballooned beyond all comprehension. But instead of saying, OK, we need to rein that in, they simply say, well, we'll move some of the burden to the states. And in exchange for moving some of that burden to the states, we'll give them some money to deal with it. So you're not actually saving any money you're just moving the money from column A to column B and getting someone else to deal with the bottom line. I mean, for heaven's sake, we're talking about people on the NDIS uh, receiving money to go to knock shops and strip joints. As if you couldn't rein that yeah. kind of thing in and actually save money instead of saying to the states, well, here's the pot of money that we don't want to spend, you go and spend it instead. Let's go to Australia Post because we learned today... For the first time in 200 years, they will now stop the daily delivery of letters. They say we need to do it because we're not financially viable unless we make this sort of change. But I have to say, Patty, I think it's regional communities that are going to hurt the most. I think you're right, Peter. Uh, and I think that number 200 is probably the, the critical number here. I think Australia Post lost uh, $200 million last financial year. Um, there's, there's a sad, inevitable sort of feel about this. Australia, people don't send letters the way that they once did. Australia Post has been losing money. Uh, and nobody actually thinks <laughs> Australia Post does a terrific job. I was laughing at some of the, the uh, references today from, from Australia Post talking about you know, high quality, reliable, reliable uh, and that sort of thing. People don't sort of trust Australia Post uh, as they once did. It's a bit like Qantas. This great Australian icon is now sort of dimmed mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in the modern world.